welcome back in to Good Morning Kansas. And we say welcome back to Marie Fiebach as we do every Tuesday morning. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing so well, Allison. I'm doing so well. This morning we are making this watermelon cucumber salad. And I have to admit, when I had it the first time, I could not get it out of my head. It's one of those things where it's salty and crunchy. It's very simple. It starts with chopped watermelon. This is five cups of chopped watermelon. And I kind of layer that over a strainer with a little bit of salt and then one and a half cups of chopped English cucumber. Now, English cucumbers are the ones that you usually find like in the plastic wrap in the grocery store. They're long and they're skinny and they have less seeds and less juice. And that's really important because you wanna get as much of the juice out of this before you put your salad together. You can see that the juice is already kind of dripping through here. And you're gonna let this sit for about 20 to um, 30 minutes. I'm gonna set this aside here and I'm gonna talk about the next ingredient, which is a jalapeno. Now jalapenos can be really spicy and they can be really mild. You can eat them like a bell pepper. It kind of depends upon the pepper this time of year. I like to put in one to two tablespoons of jalapenos and it, I don't put in the seeds or the ribs because that's where a lot of the heat is. And if you're having kids, you can skip the jalapeno altogether, but I'm telling you, you'll be missing out because I really like the jalapeno in this salad and you wanna dice it really, really, really fine so that you don't get a big bite of jalapeno, just a little hint mm -hmm. of heat. Jalapeno can totally make a dish, Marie. I'm, I'm totally on board with this. You're team jalapeno, Shane? Yeah, I am definitely team jalapeno. I only have that shot real quick. I'm fixing your mic for you. There we go. Oh, perfect. We're losing you. Oh, no, that's okay. not good. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so after this has sat for a while, you're actually going to take a spoon and just kind of push it down and try and get as much of that juice out as you can. We're going to pretend that this sat for 20 minutes and we're going to add it to our bowl and then we're going to add a tablespoon of chopped mint, a tablespoon of chopped basil, and then this is the zest of one lime and then the juice of one lime. This is really coming together too and it's so picturesque honestly. Uh, I've already put it on my Instagram, so that, that is how well it's looking when it's the final product. But as it comes together here, what is it about the basil and watermelon that's going to work? The, the herbs with the salt, if you've never had salted watermelon, it's that salty flavor that is just amazing. And you add that with the hot jalapeno and the herby taste and the salt, and mm. all you do is stir it together. Do you want to take a taste there, Shane? Absolutely. I mean, it looks so good. So this is going to take what in all? How long? It, it takes about 30, 35 minutes to make. And then you can serve it immediately. Or if you want to chill it a little bit, it will meld and the flavors will get just that much more concentrated. And that salt, sweet, crunchy, tangy, limey, it, you can't get it out of your head. It's oh, just man. a really, really bright, refreshing salad for this time of year. What do you think? And when oh, it's so good. And yeah, with the salt prevalent in there, it's it's like a sea salt, right? Uh huh. I okay. use that Celtic sea salt. It's a gray Celtic sea salt. All of the recipes in my cookbook, I developed with a gray Celtic sea salt, with the exception of the baking recipes. I like the way it adds more salt flavor without adding quite as much sodium. There's lots of trace minerals in that Celtic sea salt, and it really does make a difference in your cooking. And it's beautiful, as you can see there. It's got the little ridges here because the jalapeno gives it bite, right? That watermelon <laughs> has some bite to there, it. There you go. I love there it. It's go. so tasty, and we are not to be surprised. So thank you very much, Marie. Another great submission. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at where you can see more recipes like this and then get this recipe as well. You can go to feedyourfamilytonight.com or go to our Facebook page. Marie, you were just posting about your, uh, your menus that you plan every single week like clockwork so you're ready for the week ahead. That's it. It's all about planning ahead so that your weeknights can be a little more calm. Perfect, Marie. We appreciate you every Tuesday. We'll be right back here on Good Morning Kansas.